Hey everybody, welcome back. Now, today I wanted to do a video on Elden Ring. Now, Elden Ring came out and I covered it a little bit on the channel when it first came out. I was streaming it, I had fun, I did enjoy the game. But uh, back when it came out, I did have some problems with it and it kind of stopped me from fully playing and enjoying it. So now with Shadow of the Erd Tree on the horizon, I figured, why not? Let's, let's go back to Elden Ring. Let's give it another shot. I can say right off the bat, going back to this, um, God, what a wonderful game. And I knew this back when I played it, like the sense of scope is amazing. This is a huge, huge world. There's like so much to explore, but my problem with it was you would go through these levels in these areas and zones and I felt like the reward wasn't there. My favorite part about the Souls games are you would play through a level, they would have a beginning and an end. Your bonfire would start it and then you would progress until you reached the boss at the end and, and that was it. You could find all the little hidden treasures in there and uh, I just really enjoyed that loop. So with Elden Ring, I didn't quite get that because playing through Elden Ring, I felt like I would go and I'd see an encampment, I'd clear it out, I'd go search for goodies and I would get like mushrooms and leaves and I'm like, why, why did I just do this? What was the purpose of any of that? And um, going back to it now, after some time has passed, you know, this is 2024. So like two years later, you know, I'm coming back to this and uh, with a fresh set of eyes and a fresh mind, I enjoyed a lot more. So my issue with it was the, the level design wasn't quite there, but Going back to it now, the open world, I realized it's just for leveling up your character. That's just for making you stronger. Like if you want to go get upgrade stones, you go to the mines. If, if you want to go and farm out the little trees to get the uh, sacred seeds, or if you want to increase your flasks, you, you can go to the Church of America. Like that's the brilliant part of this game. If you want the tight level design that these games are known for, you go do one of the five main legacy dungeons. And then if you wanna progress the actual campaign, you just do the legacy dungeons, like you, you progress the story. So that's why it's all coming together now because now when I'm playing this, I'm just seeing it like for what it is and I'm like, oh my gosh, I've been wasting all this time doing this little ancillary stuff all throughout the map when you don't have to like that it's there if you want to go explore like go ahead there are secrets to uncover in the world like things are hidden out there but your reward for doing that is very small because it's like okay if, if you want to do the main story you do that do the main legacy dungeons progress the story see the ending of the game but if you want to go explore the world and find out more about it and learn about what the finer little intricacies of the game you go explore the world, but you don't have to do that. So going through it now, it's I, I really kind of understood that. Like I went through Stormvale Castle, I, I enjoyed it. I killed those bosses, moved on with my life. And then I decided, you know what, before I do any more, I want to uncover the whole map. So that's what I've been spending a lot of time on recently, just going through and if you look on the map, when you uh, kind of venture into unknown areas, eventually you clear the fog of war a little bit and you can see a little obelisk on the map. So I've been going to each of those obelisks because when you get there, you actually clear the map and you can see in detail the whole map. So I've just really been enjoying running around on Torrent, kind of clearing all that and, and unlocking as much of the map as I can. While I'm doing that, I'm going through and I'm farming all of my flask upgrades and I'm, I'm getting as many flasks as I can. I'm going through and I'm picking off any uh, mines that I see because I want to have my weapon fully upgraded. I'm just, I'm enjoying the ride. And, um, you know, earlier I said there's like five legacy dungeons. There's actually six. And then uh, there's other areas like the legacy dungeons, but they're a little shorter. So whatever. The main thing I'm trying to say is that, you know, if Elden Ring turned you off because you're missing that tight level design from the other Souls games, just give it a chance. Like... Maybe look up a guy, look at the legacy dungeons and try to focus those down. Like they definitely have the difficulty. They definitely have that tight design. It's really fun. It's really inventive. Um, the other thing that kind of turned me off at first was this whole garden aesthetic. Like I didn't really understand it. And now that I've kind of researched it a little bit more, I get it. You know, the whole idea of the tree being like a dead tree and a mushroom actually consuming it and the mushroom spreading and like the scarlet rot is a part of that mushroom 
life cycle that is just destroying the world and it is infecting the tree and I like that and I like you know the whole grafting thing went over my head I didn't really realize that was a, a practice in uh, herbology or whatever where you like cut a plant and you can graft them together so that's why Godric the grafted and, and all that stuff it's cool like it, it's kind of a unique look at it you know I I was a fan of Dark Souls so I was kind of you know sad they moved away from that but it, it's cool to see them do new things and this is similar enough you know you still have your zombies and ghouls and it's just got a different overarching theme to it which is cool um it definitely seems very deep you know if you talk about the lore of dark souls obviously over the course of three games it's expanded quite a bit and there's a lot to it but if you break it down from the first game it, it's pretty simple you know you got the the lords of flame and you're going after them and it's a it's a cycle that's repeating and that's kind of the story you got dragons and zombies and that's it but in this i feel like the the amount of depth in this one game is, is so much more like it's so complicated and that's something i'm going to pay attention to as i progress further because now my goal is i want to go through and i want to get the platinum for elden ring i i really want to try and do it this time you know, building up to Shadow of the Erd Tree, that's coming out like June 21st. So it it's getting close. So I what I want to do is this playthrough of Elden Ring, I want to try and do as much as I can to get myself up to that platinum. And then Shadow of the Erd Tree will drop. I'm going to play that. I'm going to have fun with that, try to get all the platinum or all the trophies from that. And uh, I just want to see what this game has to offer. I want to really dive into it. Um, so going forward, I'm going to kind of focus on these legacy dungeons. I'm going to focus on the story. I want to watch some videos and try to figure out what's actually going on in this world. Because I know that there's like, you know, there's the people that want to keep the tree in good health. And they follow the tree and the tree is their god and they love the tree. But then there's other people that use gravity magic. I'm not really sure how that's tied to the Erd tree. I know like Radan... When you defeat him, it brings the constellations back and you see the stars move. And I, I guess it's time continuing is kind of my understanding of it now. But this world is kind of frozen in place from what I understand. So I don't know. I'm going to watch some videos. I'm going to try and pay attention as I'm playing through the game. And I want to try and understand this game more because I definitely don't understand it that well. Um... I was kind of disappointed when Elden Ring first came out. Like, I, I really liked it. I fell into it. And then I just fell out so hard. And part of that is because I was playing on PC the first time around. And I generally don't play games like this on PC. I've always played the Souls games on console. So for me, it just felt weird, like, playing it on my computer. And I bought a controller to, to play with it, but I didn't really like it that much on computer i like being able to play on the couch and and now i got the portal so i can play in the bed or you know i'm not confined to this one room um the other thing i'll say is i don't know how anybody plays this game without a pro controller of some sort because gosh that was brutal the the default controls for elden ring while on horseback are awful i feel like i am constantly running around and the game is so tense you're constantly like gripping the controller and if you press too hard on that left stick it, it dismounts it. so i know you can go through and, and you can customize the controls but i don't really feel like there's a good way to do it unless you have the extra paddles on the back of the controller so i'm using my pro controller for this and i'm really liking it i have a good setup i have my uh for those of you that want to be really in depth with how i'm controlling elden ring i have my l3 mapped to circle and then on the back pedals, I have circle and square mapped. So that way I can kind of always keep my thumbs on the sticks. I can dodge. I can heal without taking my hands off the sticks. So, yeah, I don't know. That's my thoughts on Elden Ring. I'm definitely going to be playing more. We're going to have more coverage over here on the channel. Um, keep an eye out for that. I'm hoping to get Garrett and Chase involved as we near closer to Shadow of the Erd Tree. So that'll be cool. And, uh... For the most part, I think I'm going to be playing through it solo. I don't know. Maybe if Garrett or Chase want to jump in and do some co-op over on PlayStation, we'll do that. But I think uh, we're going to use the password GrouchyGus94. So if you want to come and invade me or play with me or 
whatever, use that password and we'll be playing uh, up and through Shadow of the Erd Tree. So that's all I got for this video. I just wanted to put this out there. We are returning to Elden Ring. We're going to be covering Elden Ring on the channel. We're going to be playing Shadow of the Erd Tree. So if you guys like that, make sure to subscribe. Until next time, I will see you later. This video is brought to you by your support on Patreon. Visit patreon.com slash 94 to help support the channel.